You got to get in your rhythm. Get more rhythm. It's the ninth round coming up, Julio. No. Everything okay? Yeah. Un poquito. There was an accidental butt that didn't amount to a whole lot in the round, but there it is right there. It landed on the eye of Chavez. It him at all. Beginning of round nine, and typically in these late rounds, Fighters have trouble against the consistent, sustained attack and the accuracy of the punching of Julio Cesar Chavez. Let's see if Fuentes is any different. tell us before the fight that if he didn't get him in the first half of the fight he'd be content just to box him but uh, I think he can edit that comment and change his mind anytime he feels like it. If the opportunity is there and right. certainly he's looking for it. It is not yet target practice but it is verging in that direction. Incidentally, the word from our producer, Ross Greenberg, is that former world champion Ruben Castillo, serving as interpreter for us, is astonished by the calm and collected character of Sammy Fuentes' corner. He thinks they ought to perhaps be a little more excited. Solid right hand. Fuentes is beginning to take a lot of punishment. His mask has changed dramatically in the last three rounds. The clinical viciousness of Julio Cesar Chavez. Relentless Chavez goes on. His face unmarked. And Fuentes is really hurt now. Fuentes yeah. bleeding all over himself. He's got time is running out in this round. He probably will survive. I don't know how much longer he will, though. Well, you get a sense of why Roger Mayweather elected to sit down after 10 rounds and stay on his stool back in May. Let's see if we can find out where the cut was open. He bloodied his nose. That that punch from Chavez brought some blood. At this point in the fight, you get the impression that Fuentes has said, "Okay, you win. I'm going to try to survive." By punch stat computations, Chavez landed 57% of his punches in that round. Coming up after the fight, the Tyson story, and we expect to be talking live with Mike, who is here at ringside tonight. Beginning of round 10. Rounds 8 and 9, brilliant exhibitions by Chavez. 
More of the same now as this round begins. It doesn't look like he's going for a decision right here, Jim. He wants to end it. it would appear to be largely a matter of how much of this Fuentes wants to take and how much Carlos Padilla is going to let him absorb. Any scorecard that had Fuentes ahead early has in all probability been turned around by now. You got that right. <laughs> Including <laughs> yours, I presume. Obviously. Chavez is like some exotic piece of farm equipment that just keeps rolling just keeps rolling and the arms keep going and Quente steps away and looks away almost as though he's ready and Chavez stepped away and looked at Padilla and said why don't you stop it this isn't doing this guy any good he's put up a brave fight yeah it's time to go he deserves an honorable stoppage crowd knows it Chavez knows it but here he comes back he what a gutty performance. He doesn't want any of our sympathy, <laughs> Jim. Yep. He's a fighter. And he's doing this for $30,000. He made seventy-five dollars for fighting Rodolfo Aguilar a few months ago. Okay, bring it up, bring it up. Step up, step up. Well, he'll join a long list of good fighters who made the effort and didn't have enough against the man who is still regarded by many as pound for pound the best in the sport. Yeah. Good Chavez, left hand. Chavez, again, is getting about a half a million dollars, and he's having to earn it tonight. Don King, his promoter, has always had more success with heavyweights than with the smaller men, but he has done a very good job of exposing and promoting and making money for this great fighter. Well, Fuentes, who once lost a knockout to Roger Mayweather, has now made it just as far with Chavez as Mayweather did. Stand and sit down, sit down. We're going to finish the fight. You look at it with the other eye. Move your hands well. Standing. Are you okay? Está bien. Can you see? Do you want to continue? Huh? No. Huh? He's enough. That's enough. Bastante. Enough. Just as with Roger Mayweather at the end of the tenth round, Sammy Fuentes gave everything he had. But he could not tell a lie at the end. When he was asked, have you had enough, can you go on, he had to tell the truth. And the truth is, is that Chavez is just too much. Even if his mouth told the, a lie, his face mm -hmm. told the truth. This was in many ways an identical fight to the Mayweather fight. Yes. Uh, look at him, he's unmarked. I mean, he's something of a miracle, this kid. I mean, the way he comes comes through everything and he looks at you and he smiles and his face is clear and he says well I guess I'll fight next month again one word says it best <laughs> he's a fighter Julio Cesar Chavez 65 and 0 now in his career since World War One the longest streak without a loss at the beginning of a boxing career belongs to the great Mexican champion Julio Cesar Chavez final punch stat statistics in the bout Chavez landing according to our computation 52% of the shots he attempted. That's just remarkable. Fuentes, the more aggressive fighter, 806 punches thrown in the bout. You can't say enough about his guttiness, his commitment, his effort against a guy who is simply a monument to everything that the sport is about. It's going to be a long night and a long day tomorrow for Sammy Fuentes. He can take a lot of pride away from this. 
and he'll have to be satisfied with a lot of pride because in this sport for this